Good evening, guys. Welcome to another exciting episode of Designs with Reverend Media. Today, we are going to learn how to design a loading bar, as you can see on your screen. So, that without my time, I do. Let's get started. So, I have uh, my background here, and you can choose any background of your choice. You bring it to Photoshop here. Very good. Hmm. So, this is my background, and make sure you get a a dark a darkish background so that the the loading bar can review or you can see it well so i'll go to my tool bar here then i'll pick my rectangle tool here so i will just drag and drop a rectangular box here so now i'll change the color to color white so you can change the color from here or from the property Two years. So if you don't see your property, uh, you go to Windows. Okay, check on property, property here. Then it will come. Very good. So you can change your color there. You can also select this one, uh, rectangular two here. Then you change your color here. So I'll pick white for my first color. Then I will duplicate this bar. So but before I duplicate, eh, um, you see. You have you, you can see this small circle with inner uh, b b blue circle there. Uh, it is used for round corners. It's used used to round the corners. So as it, as I I click on one, then I I drag out. It will reduce the corner, but if I drag in, it will increase the rounded corner. Very good. So now, but this is only in Photoshop from 2018. I think 2018 to to date i'm using 2021 um, photoshop now so if you don't see yours here you can go to if you if you don't have if you are using 2017 and below as you select your your rectangular box here you go to um you go to properties here then you will see this here so it means this one that corner so as soon as I click and drag one. You see, it's controlling it. <laughs> so, but if I want it to affect only one, only one. Supposing I want it to affect only um, this side, so I'll select the I'll select the rectangular box. I'll click on the property here. Then I will click on the link here. This link chain here. I'll I'll unclick it. Then I'll do for only one. As you see, I can do for only one. Where is it? Uh, can do for only one. Zero point. So now I'll click enter. Uh, so that's how it is. Very good. So let me delete this one here then i'll draw it again very good so i have my rectangular two here or box here very good so i'll come to my property here then i will i will link them together then i will very good i think this is okay so I will duplicate this rectangle here. I will right click on it, or you can press Control plus <coughs> J to duplicate it. So I'll right click and press on duplicate here. And then OK. So after that, I will just zoom. I'll just zoom in. I will click on the middle banding box here. Then for Photoshop 2018 and above, you have to press Shift before you can move only one side otherwise it will move all of them to do so i'll press shift here and i'll move i'll move only one here very good just just a very little then i'll come to the down here i'll move only one again yes very good after that i will come here I'll press shift uh, <coughs> to the right side, then I'll bring it here. 
very good to the middle then I'll come here this side I will shift it small think yes it's okay very good so now I have two rectangular shape there so I will just click on the <coughs> outer one here then I'll I'll change the color I can even change the color for me I'll double click on it to come then I'll change the color to color white here then I'll click on select this one here now double click on it I can I'll change the color to think green it's okay very good now we are almost done so I'll just uh, select another rectangular tool here then I'll drag from the middle here yes to this side very good very good then I'll change the color to color white after that I will reduce the the opacity you come to the layer um, section here then you reduce it you reduce the the opacity of this rectangle after that make sure that this rectangle is on top of this green rectangle so that you want to put that this rectangle into the green rectangle so that it will it will only be visible in the green rectangle so let me see this is my rectangle this is rectangle and i'll select the green rectangle so that the this rectangle is directly on top of the green rectangle very good so i'll click here then i'll right click then i'll create clipping mask very good <coughs> yes now we are almost done we are almost done so let me bring this one down a little bit very good we are almost done so now it left with your 50 percent this one make sure that it is proportional to what um, what you are the percentage that you want to type so this one is 50 percent so i'll type 50 percent here very good then i'll bring it here 50 percent or i can also write loading loading here then i'll bring the loading here very good the loading is in between the green and the white rectangle very good then i can also reduce the positive small for the loading very good now you are almost done we have we finished so we can select all of them then i will press on alt then i will duplicate this one so if i want to change this color to color and a different color i'll select the green rectangle here then i can change the color to green change this color to color red with the help of the color picker then this one to color red so so any color of your choice this is how you can um, design a loading bar thank you very much see you next time bye